Well, I think the labor union is basically is going downhill. The country was built on this idea of the American dream. If you go to college, if you work for a corporation, then you'll have a pension and you're somehow protected. Those protections are no longer around. That's it. We just trying to pay our rent. That's what we do. Trying to pay our rent and put food on the table. That's basically what we trying to do. Nothing other than that. And we can't even get that. That's sad. That's very sad. The labor movement's been in decline. There's been an awful lot of conversation about it. Quite frankly, there hasn't been a lot of action about it. We have lost political elections. Uh, workers uh, are not being certainly being treated fairly. We can't continue in the path we've been going on because we are shrinking as opposed to growing. There is a crisis every day in this country, and that is getting worse and worse for working families. I've seen the labor movement get weaker and weaker. I've seen living standards go down and down. When the American dream is being taken away. The middle class is shrinking in this country. Labor really uh, mistook Washington for the workplace focused on politics and what was happening in Washington, D.C. instead of what were happening to working people. Organized labor is America. It's the face of the average American who works every day or has lost his job or has seen his job sent overseas and he can't find a job. Low-wage Latino workers in this country, farm workers in this country, could have the opportunities like any other worker. They're human beings. They do some of the most difficult work that we're faced with in this economy. We have to remind this country that the most valuable asset that we have as a nation is not Wall Street, it's not corporate America, it's working men and women. When you're walking down a road and you know where it ends, you have to get off that road and go where there's hope. And these seven unions have chosen to get off that road and go where there's hope for American workers, to change our lives, to change our country. I can change. I think in this country there needs to be a regeneration of the labor movement. I think that things have become stale and corrupt over time, but the underlying principles are sound as they always have been. Uh, we just need some reformation. I definitely wish uh, the labor movement was strong because then we would have a, you know, that would be something that we could hold on to and everybody could get behind. We're forming a new organization, a new labor movement, which I would say is a real labor movement of seven unions coming together who are all strong, dynamic, growing organizations who all have their own strengths. We're saying that we are bringing all of our strengths together, to use them together so that we can do things together that we can never do alone. Seven unions that are tough, seven unions that have a heart, seven unions that have a backbone, that know how to fight, and are dedicated to the proposition of growing the labor movement now, at this moment in American history. We share the same goals, we speak the same language. Uh, we are dissatisfied with what's going on in the past, and we want something new, different, and changing. We've got a group of seven unions that are focused on the workplace and focused on helping people's working lives. The employers, the companies um, have consolidated, they've grown their power. We have to do the same thing. We can't operate as individual entities anymore. These are unions that have chosen to change themselves, to try to grow stronger and not smaller. And now the great news is we've all chosen try to change this country together. You got people here working 15 years that ain't got no union. I mean, you know, and when you retire, what do you have? You have nothing, no backbone, you have nothing to fall back on. I feel it's necessary to have a vitalization in the labor movement. I mean, what runs the country, really, but labor? We've got to organize more workers on a larger scale than ever before, and what this represents is a change, a change in the way the labor movement operates. We're not going to do business we have in the past. This new federation is certainly not going to be the kind of bureaucracy that we've lived with for a number of years. There'll be significant change in how we function and how we operate. Now, for example, uh, at least 60 to 70 percent of our budget will be spent on organizing workers, which I think is significant. We have to change roads, change paths, change directions, change strategies, and get out there and organizing again. Working people count on us. The unions who make up change the world are committed to a new organizing model. Uh, and it will be global, it will be national in scope. Uh, it will run large scale campaigns that will be able to impact tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of workers by our joint and collective organizing efforts. We can only be successful when we have strong labor alliances, and that's what this new federation is all about, when we have strong community alliances, and when we 
have strong political action programs that elect our own members to office. Isn't that a success story of putting people into office that believe in the American worker, that believe in a better life for the average person, that don't believe in the race to the bottom, that believe that we have to have good jobs here in America if America is to thrive. It's, it's, it's all about making money and unfortunately uh, corporations lose sight of what's really important and that's, that's, what, that's people. This is America. What's going on? Jobs should remain in America. But to be successful in the 21st century, unions need to be global. Workers of the World Unite is not just a slogan, it has to become a way of life. We're talking about a global approach to global organizing as well as from coast to coast in the United States. Uh, it's a great challenge, but there are millions of people out there that need unions, that want unions, and that have either been intimidated or haven't had the opportunity to join unions. Global organizing is to uplift the quality of life for not only Americans, but for workers across the, across the globe. Um, and you do that through fair trade agreements, not the kind of trade agreements we have in this country. One person can get ignored. One phone call, one email, doesn't really mean much. But if we all get together and we keep battering them, keep pestering them, then maybe something will actually get done. I do really feel if something wasn't working in the past with the labor movement and they have a plan now, why not try it? The labor movement has to be energized. We have to go after a better way to educate people that are not in unions and to bring them into the union so that they have a voice in the workplace. I run into non-union people all the time. They want a union. We have to be more aggressive in putting campaigns together to give them that union so they do have that dignity on the job that the union gives them. We have to demonstrate to the American people that the right of every American to join a union if he or she wants to, free of harassment and retaliation, is necessary to rebuild the middle class dream in this country. And if this new labor federation can do that, and I think it can, then the labor movement will have its rightful place as a growing, vibrant part of the 21st century American economy. This is about not only building power for union members, this is about building power for working people. That's what Change the Wind stands for. That's what this founding convention is all about, is building power throughout this great nation for working people. I think this is an, it's an historic time in the labor movement. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the change. I'm excited about the leadership of this, of this federation. It's about helping working people better their lives. And we're going to write a new page in history. We're going to ensure that there's a, a new way to envision how working families can come together, how the unions can come together to bring about a better life for all working Americans.